to you by new denture cream, a special denture toothpaste made with the cleaning power denture wearers need. Denture cream. And now let's all play What's My Line? And now live from New York. Let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage, screen, and television, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you. And now, one of the three reasons that love is a big Broadway hit, Mr. Larry Blyden. On my left is a very lovely syndicated columnist, Miss Susie Knickerbocker. I think almost everybody in the world knows who's coming next. Bennett, you who, Bennett serve. <laughs> Here's our panel moderator, the pride and joy of Johannesburg, South Africa, Tilton, New Hampshire, and Goodson Todman Tech on Park Avenue, John Charles Daly. Susie, we've got some real pleasant little surprises for you tonight. Larry, I'm glad you came tonight because... Um, Really, the good producers have exercised their imagination, so I think you'll remember this half hour. It's good to have you here for it. We've got, as usual, some very interesting occupations. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a bit later in the program. But right now, let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Yes, uh, Mr. Daly. Will you tell us where you're from? I'm from Los Angeles, sir. From Los Angeles. Yes. Well, very nice to have you here. And, Mr. Allen, may I present our panel? Yes, you may. Well, you can now there you are. <laughs> Will you come over here with me and uh, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. Allen is self-employed and deals in a product. And uh, we'll start things off with uh, Arlene Francis. Well, Mr. Allen, I suppose the joke's already been made that you are not in the ice cream service, right? <laughs> no, but feel perfectly free to go right in. <laughs> is it a useful product, Steve? Uh, I believe so. Uh, does your wife have one of these products? She does. Uh, is it uh, a product compatible to both men and women? Yes. Uh, could I hold it in my hand? I wouldn't say that, no. No, that's one down and nine to go, Mr. Blight. Is this product found around the home? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it also found other places? Yes. Uh, is it larger in a bread box? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're trying to get them down, but we haven't reached that yet. <laughs> is, this, uh, is this product useful rather than... Uh, a luxury item or entertaining item? It uh, depends on who has one. Could be both. It could be both. Mm -hmm. I was hoping it wouldn't be. <laughs> uh, is it made of... Does it have any moving parts? Yes. Is it uh, made of, at least in part, of metal? It is. Does it have anything other than metal in it? Yes. Uh, is it found in any, especially one room of the house? If it's found in the house at all. <laughs> No. 
good. That's two down and eight to go, uh, Susie. Is it some kind of a little machine? Well, uh, you could so describe it, yes. yes. Working parts machine. Mm -hmm. Could you touch yourself with it? Mm. <laughs> uh, to each his own, you know. <laughs> But that's not its primary function, in other words. No, I would hope not. Uh, <laughs> when I use your product, would I feel better? Would it afford me pleasure? I believe it would. Wouldn't you say oh, so? Yes, Mr. Yes. Daly? Oh, positively, <laughs> Mr. Allen, yes. Would it make me look better if I used it? Uh, probably. Uh, we couldn't claim that. No, I, I think that would rather stretch the point if we did. That's three down and seven to go, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Sir. Steve, I can assume this has nothing to do with your writing or publishing activities. You may correctly so assume. I As John to... might say if he were here himself. Who needs me? I just want to get that in for you, sir. You go ahead. I As, can relax. Uh, are you finished, John? Yeah, I haven't said a word. Uh, <laughs> is this product in any way connected with either music or television? No, not directly. No, no, no. Four down and six to go, Miss Fred. Is it a product, uh, uh, Steve, that uh, one would more naturally find out of doors than indoors? I would say that, yes. Would you ever find it on or near water? Near, but not on. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've been drinking. <laughs> Is it a product that you could get into? Mm. I wouldn't put it that way. No, I wouldn't put it that way either. On, five. but not into. Five down and five to go, Mr. Blyde. This product does something. Oh, yes. Uh, does the thing that it does it to, the thing that it does it to, is it a solid rather than a liquid? <laughs> <laughs> and if you figure that question out, tell me. I'm not sure I got it. There's an unwarranted assumption here <laughs> which I don't propose to put up with for a minute more. Uh, <laughs> whatever I'm talking about. Now, this, this product, it does something to something else. Is that correct? I don't... Why well, wouldn't think you had a full show, would you? No, nah. nah, I wouldn't think so. Six down and four to go, Susie. Well, does it do something to or for people? It does something for people, yes. You're does... giving away things. I'm sorry. He gave it away. Not to me, he didn't. <laughs> Uh, you sell this product. Is it saleable? Oh, yes. Are you doing well with it? Marvelous. <laughs> Does it cost less than $50? Only secondhand. <laughs> <laughs> Seven dollars. Three to go, Mr. Sir. Dave, does this product have any effect on people's health or appetite? It could have an effect on their health, but it would be rather a tenuous connection, yeah. I would think. I would say that it would not have as its principal or one of its principal functions um, John would say that. Upon, upon health. I think we would mislead you, Bennett, if we didn't give oh, you a heaven no. Heaven forbid. Heaven <laughs> forbid. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Is it a product that one might find at a store that sells sporting goods or entertainment products? Sporting goods, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, is there something game-like about it? You have Not to be... gamey, but game. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be kind of game to use it, but uh, not, nothing in the game line. No, no? but uh, nine down and one to go, Mr. Blyden. It's... Boy, I'm baffled. I really am baffled. <laughs> I have no idea. Is it, uh, would it also be found at any time... Uh, it's mechanic. Is it mechanical? Definitely. Uh, does it work on a motor? Yes. Uh, does it move? Oh, like the wind. Uh, does it sometimes go off the ground? <laughs> <laughs> it has been known to do so, but only in amateur hands. <laughs> only in amateur hands? Yeah. Well, occasionally, though, a professional, you know, but yes. it's... Uh, it's that's mobile around it. land, then? Oh, yes. Mm. Uh, and is it uh, sportive in nature? Yeah, I would yes. say. It's not a game, but it's very... Does it have anything to do with, uh, can you get in this at all? No, no, that's been asked. It was already ascertained that you can't get into it. You can it carry on. something? It can, yes. Uh, is it ever used in golf? <laughs> <laughs> when it is, the green keepers get really burned up. <laughs> that's ten dollars, no more to go. Anybody want to make a guess? One of Steve's many interests? 
Oh, he sells white suits. He sells white suits. <laughs> no, and you know how it is. You can get, can't get on him, but you can get in him or something like that. <laughs> he discusses capital punishment with Bill Buckley. <laughs> <laughs> can't make a living out of that. I mean. Hey, he sells motorcycles. Here is one of the... It's all given away when I tell you the name of the of the outfit is Steve Allen Honda on Santa Monica Boulevard in Hollywood. He is um, part yeah. owner of this. They would call it Steve Allen Honda in the East. It's Steve Allen Honda out there. <laughs> as we when Westerners you, say. <laughs> as my wife would say, when you come from New England, it's Honda, <laughs> which is even worse. But not only Honda is, he sells also Vespers. <laughs> don't you? And Lambretters. And BSers. And BSers. And Lambretters. Yeah. Right? Sure. Do you notice that thing? The New R's. Englanders, all A-ending words. We I'm going to open a, an R shop uh, <laughs> in, in New England. Oh, are you? The Japanese are making wonderful little R's, and I think we could probably sell lots of them up in the Northeast. Steve, you might do one in Australia and call it Under. Steve yeah. Allen Under, yes. <laughs> well, that one is going to sit there for yeah. some while <laughs> before it gets any recognition, but then it's a long way from here to there. May I say, Mr. Allen, it's Thank been you, very Mr. nice Daly. to have you here on What's pleasure. My Life. Thank you. Another contestant for you in just a moment. And now our next contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? <coughs> Samantha Brooks. Right, ma'am? <laughs> All right, is it, uh... Miss or Mrs. Brooks? It's Mrs. Brooks. Mrs. Brooks, and where are you from? San Francisco. San Francisco. Oh, lucky girl. That's a great town to be from. Mrs. Brooks, may I present our audience? I mean, our panel. <laughs> 70 days. The audience is out there. The panel is over there. Right. Will you join me over here now, and we'll let the audience here in the theater and uh, the folks at home know exactly what you're like. Panel, Mrs. Brooks is salaried and deals in a service. And we'll begin things with uh, Bennett, sir. Mrs. Brooks, do you, is your service in any way related to the entertainment industry? Yes, it is. Is the entertainment that you do something that is done before audiences? Yes. Do you do something before audiences? Yes, I do. Is there any music connected with the work that you do? Yes. Do you do any dancing? Uh, no. One down and nine to go. I think it's only fair not to put too much emphasis on the music. There is music in connection with it, but this is not uh, untoward in, you know, in uh, the entertainment area, right? Miss Francis. Does the kind of entertainment you do require skill? Yes. Uh, you use your body in the work that you do? In the performance uh, of your work? Yes. Um, uh, do you wear uh, a briefer costume than you wear now when you do your job? Yes. Uh, does strength have anything to do with what you do? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't think so. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Blyden. Uh, Miss Brooks, you seem very tanned. Does your work take place out of doors? No. Three down and seven to go. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Mrs. Brooks likes the beach. <laughs> I have some sort of a wild idea. Is it um, you perform in front of an audience, right? Everybody is looking at you. We hope so. Uh, are you covered by something? Covered by something? Is there something around you? You mean other than a costume? Other than a costume. Ah, that's a very good question. <laughs> that's four down and six to go, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Brooks, are there any animals in any way connected with the work that you do? No. no. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Mrs. Brooks, when you are on stage performing, are there other people associated with you when you are performing? No. That's You're a solo performer. Six down and four to go, Mr. Blyden. Is it that you perform on a stage? Yes, I do. You do. And you work alone? Yes. 
Uh, is there any manual dexterity required in your work? A degree, I think. Uh, yes, I would say so, mm -hmm. yes. Do you, uh, when you perform, use uh, other objects than just your voice or, or your body, uh, as you might have in dancing or singing? Yes, I do. Uh, are these things uh, related to cards or prestidigitation or magic or anything like that? No. no, that's awfully good. Preston, yes, that's wonderful. <laughs> Seven down and three to go. Susie. Do you handle something when you work? Yes. Do you toss whatever you have in the air from time to time? No. Eight down and two to go, <laughs> Mr. Sir. In other words, we can eliminate juggling. Oh, yeah. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. But there are some objects that you use when you're doing your work. Yes. Are these objects ever attached to any part of your body? Attached? Yes. No. No, not attached. Nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. Do you manipulate these objects rather than ride on them? Yes. Are they anything like puppets? No. No. Anybody want to take a guess? Sam? No. Not yeah. a belly dancer. No, <laughs> I saw the rat first. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Brooks is a fire eater. Many torches, and finishes up by extinguishing one by putting same in, in her mouth, which I must you say... You're going to do it for us tonight, Mrs. Brooks? <laughs> they won't let Didn't me. bring your fire no. with you, huh? No, and besides, I'm, you know, I have got enough fire seat. insurance, too. <laughs> but uh, mostly nightclubs, right? Yes. Now, do they make your costume must bother you if you're playing with fire? Oh, I suppose you can fireproof things like that. Yes, I, my costumes are made out of jersey, which, uh, it doesn't flame. It melts, but it won't flame. Well, that's comforting, mm -hmm. isn't it? <laughs> 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 Mrs. Brooks, if I ask you a, a question, may strike you as good. What does fire taste like? Hot. Oh. <laughs> Gee, I really don't know what it tastes like. I don't... Uh, you eat it? Yes, but it doesn't really have a taste. I mean, it's it's you, hot, but there's no... Uh, does it hurt? Sometimes. If you don't do it properly. <laughs> have you had poi, Bennett? <laughs> what? Just one. It's Just no think of hot poi. <laughs> Where Mrs. Brooks, we puzzled the panel, and that's right. always a joy. Thank you very much. Thank nice you. to have you with us. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, and now the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which the panel is blindfolded, as you know. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? You will well remember a different form of questioning, one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we will begin with Susie. Are you a girl? <laughs> mm. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Is that yes or no? That was a no. Well, everybody is very hilarious out there. Are you a comedian? Mm-hmm. Miss Francis? Are you a comedian in the theater? Mm-mm. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Blyden. Are you a comedian in television? Mm. <laughs> Susie? Do you have a regular television show? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's three down and seven to go. That was a no, Mr. my turn. Yeah, it? your turn. Yeah. Did you once in the long ago have a television show of your own? Miss <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Francis? I don't know what happened there. What happened. <laughs> was it a no? No, that was a yes. Oh, oh a long time ago. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
we'll, we'll take a moment out until our guest is recovered. <laughs> Are you, um, this long time ago that you did this television show, were you one of the most important names in television as far as comedy is concerned? Uh, that took care of that. What? Yeah, that's then, a yes, Mr. Blythe. Were you then and are you now my favorite Uncle Milty? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Is he? Uh-uh. He's not. <laughs> not unless there's some family association here that we're not really fully aware of. That's four <laughs> down and six to go. Susie. Not, not Uncle Milty. Uh, oh. Are you... Are you under 35? <laughs> <laughs> we will now have another brief pause while our guest is <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, what happened? He isn't under 35. When, when you that would make it... <laughs> sorry, Bennett, I haven't put the card over yet. You wouldn't want me to forget that. That's yeah. five down and five to go, well, Mr. If, Sir. If you finished groaning, uh... <laughs> Could you possibly be my Uncle Jerry? I'd love to be. <laughs> Sorry to say, no, I'm not. Cheer up, Jerry. You've got lots of company around here. Look at Bennett turning green. Oh, Funny they didn't get to me. Uh, the movies, of course, are the area in which you've, in the, what, last ten years, I guess, really, you've been... Now you produce them and direct them and act in them. You've got a new one coming, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, three on a couch. Three on a couch, yes. But you produced it, you directed it, you star in it. I wrote uh, the rewrite, and tomorrow I'm operating on my own appendix. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we've got to do now is get you a remote camera control of some kind. We have that too. You've got guys. that too. I think what threw Arlene and uh, Larry was the fact that we spoke of television a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Really That's why. Yeah. I was yeah. joking. Yeah. Well, it was huh? a long time ago. It was two years, isn't it? It's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> No, but actually, when you first, though, came to great prominence in television, is it some, some time ago? That's Nineteen years ago, I think. Nineteen, yeah. So it is a long time ago that you were... Uh, I am over it, it 35, was a, Susan. It was a fair <laughs> answer. But now, your big son... I'm introduced now as Gary's father. Yeah, I was going to say, your big son is just going like a house of fire, isn't he? Yes, he's doing record? very well. Very well. I'm very proud of him. I'm particularly proud in the way he's handling himself. Yeah, nice young man. That's I nice. have five warming up in the living room. <laughs> best insurance policy I ever saw. But that's nice on Father's Day to hear a dad talk about his boy that way. But you can be proud of him. He's uh, going to beat your play out in the records before you get through, maybe, perhaps. He's yet. already done so. I, I believe he's sold close to 10 million records in the last 18 months. Oh. Wow! <laughs> well, exceptionally gratifying, because yeah. he, he did it all by himself with the help of his mother. She's, <laughs> she's the manager, and I like to know where my son is, what the tour is he's doing. She says, you take care of your business and we'll take care of his. And we don't intermingle careers. That allows you to I hope he increases your allowance on Friday. Thank you, John. <laughs> Very much. Nice to have you with us. very strongly, panel, so I'll give you congratulations, and we'll all be back after this word. Well, Susie and Larry, I promised you a couple of surprises, and I trust you'll agree that I, uh, I gave them to you. Nice to have had you with us, and uh, good night, Arlene Francis. Good night, dear John. Good night, Larry. Good night, Arlene. Good night, Susie. Good night, Larry. Good night, Bennett. I hope you'll soon be back in the New York paper again. Susie. I hope so, too. Good night, John. And you know, Bennett, I've got a Father's Day present for you. What is it, John? You do look 35. Just. <laughs> <laughs> he does, really. He looks 35 in his Columbia University yearbook. 
<laughs> and thanks for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Cotton. This is Johnny Olsen speaking.